In this video, we're going to have a look at how to get started with Instalod Studio. Instalod Studio is Instalod's standalone application that enables powerful mesh processing and enterprise workflows. The first thing that I'm going to do is go ahead and create a new profile so we can apply some mesh operations to our objects. To do that, I'm going to jump to File, New Profile, and then I'm going to choose Optimize as our starting mesh operation. Now on the right hand side, we can see that we've got our mesh operation settings, everything from the optimizer to remeshing, imposterizing, and so on. So now I'm going to go ahead and import an asset. All right, so here we've got a character made up of six different objects made up of about 130,000 polygons. Now I'm going to start off by creating some LODs. To do this, I'm going to go into my mesh operations and add an entry. I'm going to name this entry LOD1. Then I'm going to go to the Mesh Operation Settings. And by default, we can see that the percent triangles is set to 50%, which is fine for this case. Then I'm going to add another entry for LOD2. Now for this entry, I want to set down the percentage to 25%. Then I'll go and add a final entry, which I'll call LOD3. And this one I'm going to set down to 12.5%. Now to finish this off, I'm going to go back to my default mesh operation. I'm going to double click it and rename this one as LOD0. Now for LOD0, I want to have 100% of my original mesh. So I'm going to make sure that the percent triangles is set to 100%. Now with all that done, I'm going to go to the start button, select that. And the cool thing is that Instalot works asynchronously over all the CPU cores. So creating a single LOD takes almost the same amount of time as creating four in this case. And we can see we're already done. On the top, you can see that we have these tabs. If I hover my mouse over them, we can see that we toggle through them. I'm just going to select one and we can see that it stays there. Now, visually, the model itself, well, there's hardly a difference, really. But if we toggle through the individual tabs over LODs, well, there's hardly a difference that we can see. But for the polygon count, there is definitely a big difference. We can see that difference in the wireframe of our model as well. So a beautiful optimization that is really quick and easy to set up. For this next scene, let's go ahead and create a new profile by going to File, New Profile. And for this scene, we want to use the Remesh feature. With Instalod's Remesher, we want to do the complete reconstruction of this mesh. The fantastic thing is that Instalod doesn't just do the reconstruction, but it also creates UVs and bakes textures at the same time. In this case, our mesh actually has a hole, so we don't have any back faces. And we don't want Instalod to create any either when doing the reconstruction. So what I'm going to have to do is go to the surface construction area and make sure that ignore back faces is enabled. The next step is for me to go to the UVs. I know in this case that a hard surface axial algorithm will do a fantastic job due to all these angular surfaces. Next, I want to use the fuzzy face count target. This will let Instalod figure out on its own what the best amount of polygons is to get a good reconstructed mesh. That way, I don't have to worry about figuring out how many polygons I need. Finally, I'm going to my bake output, and here we are making sure that we're baking out the normal map and the diffuse texture map, which in this case, I'm going to be able to bake by enabling custom textures. With all of this set up, I'm going to go and simply click Start. Let's see how low we can go with Instalod. In this case, we're doing the complete reconstruction of the mesh. We're also UV unwrapping the mesh as well, and also baking textures. Instalod is also going to make sure that it doesn't create any back faces in the process. And there we go. From 600,000 polygons, we were able to do the reconstruction with just 7,000 faces. Now, if I turn on the wireframe, we can actually see what's happened here a beautiful reconstruction. And we can see that Instalot in this case modeled right over all the details and baked these instead. If we have a look at the UVs, we can see that right here, we now have usable UVs compared to the previous original version. And we've also baked our textures. 
So we have our color and our normal map. And inside of the normal map, we can see that we've got all of the wrinkles and all the details baked inside of here. So I hope that this gives you a good overview of Installod Studio. I definitely recommend you check out our other YouTube videos for more information, and I hope to see you in the next one. If you enjoyed this video, drop us a comment below, and don't forget to subscribe. For the latest news about Installod, please visit our website and follow us on Twitter. You can find all the links in the video description below. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you in the next one.